Hello, can everybody hear me? Oh man, sorry, the lighting is so bad in here. Hi. Okay, so I went on Instagram and let people submit whatever they've been wanting to ask me lately. And I went through and I compiled like the top list of questions that I was asked and I'm gonna answer them here live. Um, hi, 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 hi everybody. Um, and I took photos of them and I'm so sorry if I'm like very clumsy to answer these cause I, oh my God, I need to like put a sweatshirt on. <laughs> I'm a mess, hi guys, <laughs> love you. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right into these questions. I think the number one question I have been asked lately is, how am I doing um, mentally, physically, emotionally? How am I doing? Um, and I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm tired, but that's like the norm. But I'm doing okay. I waited quite a while before making that video that was uploaded last week. Um, to make sure that I was in a better place before we filmed and uploaded that. Um, so I'm actually doing a lot better now. And yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, what are your hobbies? Um, I'd say my number one hobby is shopping for crystals. <laughs> um, what else? I like, I, I like playing video games lately. I'm kind of into video games. Never thought I'd say that. And I love watching true crime shows. That's Probably my passion. How old were you when you had Jackson? I was 22. I get asked that a lot. Um, can you guys hear me? Okay, you can. What video games? I just beat Let's Go Pikachu or whatever it is. I beat it last night. Pretty proud of myself. I play easy games because I'm not very good. Um, what things do you do? To get through days when you notice you are becoming overly self-critical. Um, I mean, with time and age, uh, I've become less and less critical of myself just because the more I experience, the more I realize that nobody is perfect and everybody, everybody's lives kind of ebb and flow with like having it together and not having it together. And so I try not to be too hard on myself as long as I'm trying my best while still taking care of myself. I just try not to go there. If I notice myself going there or like comparing myself to other people, um, I don't know. I just, I'm like, try to level set and give myself a reality check and count off the things that I have and the things I've accomplished and it makes me feel better. <coughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Ready? Nice lamp. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, my kids are in the other room. I'm shut in my bedroom right now, which is why the lighting is so bad, because, sorry. Uh, favorite thing to eat from a fast food place? I would say my favorite thing right now is the Beyond Burger from Carl's Jr. I really like it. Um, also, bean and cheese burritos from Del Taco are one of my favorite foods ever. Is Wyatt still a picky eater? What are his favorite foods? So I actually asked him. He's still very much a picky eater. But I asked him what his favorite foods are, and he said pizza, salad, and mac and cheese. And the salad, I have to add a disclaimer, because by salad he means Caesar salad, which is just like romaine lettuce and creamy dressing and Parmesan. He'll eat that. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one is very sweet. Hi, you're so beautiful and such a positive and real role model. How do you manage daily stress? Well, first of all, Julia Cowley sent that. Thank you, Julia. That was very sweet of you. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best at managing stress. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm a stress case. And then when I get feedback from people, like at work and stuff, they say that I'm really calm. And I always feel like I'm always stressed. But I guess it doesn't show. I don't know. Um, but I deal with it by, like, when you have a lot on your plate, you kind of have to prioritize the things that are the big deals. And so I've been working on kind of gauging, like, is this a big deal? Is it worth my time and energy? If not, I'm just going to let it go and not stress out about it. Um, the other thing I've started doing is taking time for myself. 
Um, and yeah, making sure that I'm taking care of myself. That helps a lot too. Someone asked in the comments, if you ever regret sharing, do I regret sharing my phone number? That's not the phone number to my phone. It's a Google Voice account that I check. <clears throat> okay, sorry guys, my hair was in a bun all day and it looks bad and I'm just like feeling very uncomfortable about it. <laughs> okay, let's get to the next one. Uh, lots of questions about mom in progress. Did we stop? Are there going to be more? There are going to be more episodes. I'm currently shooting three. Um, not at the same time, but we're going to shoot three in a row. We're shooting one right now. Um, so there will be more mom in progress. Never fear. Okay, what's the deal with my house? <laughs> updates on my house. I think people are concerned that we're still living here, but honestly, um, after the episode, we had the house cleaned, cleaned, cleansed, uh, and things have really died down. Whoa, the light behind me just got really bright, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not uncomfortable in the house. None of us are. Um, nothing really weird has happened, so we're here, and I'm happy in this house. <clears throat> Plus, people are always like, just move. And I'm like, do you know how hard it is to sell a house and find another one? Uh, there's no way. Plus, I hate moving. <laughs> How's life? And oh, lots of questions about Syrup's tank. And I've answered most of these individually. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Syrup Pie Person is our beta fish. When I bought him, I was at a pet store and I just let them kind of pick out what we should get for him. And I guess they recommended a tank that's far too small for beta fish and plants that were potentially harmful to him. So Syrup is now in a three-gallon tank. He used to be in a one-gallon tank. He's in a three-gallon tank. I took out the plastic plants. He still has his little pineapple house in there. And he has a heater now, so he has warm water. And he's very happy. Okay. I like forget to breathe when I'm answering questions. I'm sorry. Uh, lots and lots of questions. Are you going to try to have another baby or are you done? And that's just, I'm not comfortable talking about that yet. It's something like I just talked about everything that happened last week. And so I'm not really ready to discuss that yet. So I'm not going to answer any questions about that. And I hope you guys understand. I know I, I'm usually very transparent and I like to answer everything, but like in like my brain isn't ready to talk about it. My my heart isn't ready to talk about it. So um TBD. What handy meals do you feed your kids? I also got a lot of questions about like how I get meals on the table very quickly. And that is because I hack the crap out of grocery store foods. So I shop at Trader Joe's a lot, and they have a bunch of, like, really great pre-made rices and, like, organic soups and stuff. And so I do, on weeknights, all this awesome hacky stuff to, like, combine them and make a really good soup or, like, really good um, stir-fry or fried rice or dumpling soup. Um, and that's how I get meals on the table quickly because <clears throat> I really don't have much time to cook. A bunch of food from scratch on weeknights. Um, so Trader Joe's. Um, is there going to be more I Draw You Cook? Yes, I think this this month it's coming back. It'll premiere this month. I'm in two episodes this season. Oh hi. What's up? What are you doing? Careful of my really sad setup. Do you like my laptop setup? <laughs> Hello, guys. This is Jackson. Yep, me, Jackson. I'm answering questions. And I'm going to be playing on my laptop. Okay. Since I Wait, I don't have plugs available on this side. This side? On the other side, I think there are plugs. Yeah, Actually, yeah. no. Maybe in the kitchen. People are saying hi to you, Jackson. Oh, hello, whoever's saying hi to me. In the, um, can you give me a sweatshirt out of my drawer, please? In the bottom. Is this sweatshirt? Over there in the bottom. Yep. 
There we go. This is the best thing about having kids who get a little older. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> they can go grab you stuff you're too lazy to get yourself. You get what you get and you don't be upset. <laughs> okay, I'm putting the sweatshirt on, guys. He picked no. out this very intense black sweatshirt. You get, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And you get what you get and you don't throw a fit? That's really ironic that you're saying that, Wyatt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you hear it a different way? No, it's not a Okay. Okay. Wyatt's in here, guys. <coughs> That's very cool, buddy. Okay, back to questions. What's your favorite type of wine? I see that comment. Rosé. Always rosé. Forever and ever and ever. What happened to locked in my room? <laughs> I don't have a lock on my door, so I the door was closed, and usually they don't open it if it's closed. What? I don't know. He's doing a Nerf gun. Okay. Any advice for a 21-year-old who has no idea where her life is heading? I get asked a lot about, like, what do you do if you don't know? What are you doing? What do you do if you, if you like, aren't sure what you want to do in life or you feel like you're behind? And here's the thing. I didn't officially start my career or, like, okay, buddy, you can't be screaming if you're in here, okay? Thank you. He's such a good listener. You done? You done? Do you want to come up here? No? Do you want to come up here? Sometimes I don't notice. Like, I just tune out when the kids are making noise sometimes. And so I'm sorry. I don't notice all the time. Okay. So, um... Oh, yeah, I get asked a lot about career paths and, like, people not knowing what they want to do. And I actually didn't figure out what I wanted to do with my career until I was uh, 26 or 27. Um, so I kind of floated around for a while trying a bunch of stuff. I went to school for something that I didn't end up doing at all in life because um, I thought I wanted to go into, like, business management. Um, it sounded vague at the time, but... Um, but yeah, hey, don't do that to my mirror, please. That I don't want it to break on you. Thank you. They're always trying to like hurt themselves. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why it is just like so sassy. Okay. So yeah, if you don't have anything figured out by 21, no sweat. You have plenty of time. <clears throat> okay. How old are the boys? Jackson is seven and Wyatt is four. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay. What inspired you to start cooking? I've been cooking your whole life. I helped my mom in the kitchen all the time as a kid. We did mostly baking. So I, I'd say I'm better at baking than savory foods. Um, but my mom from day one just had me help her cook. And I loved it mostly because I'm a sugar fiend and I loved like the bowl. <laughs> and if I helped, that meant I got to lick the bowl. Do you ever regret putting yourself or your kids on the internet for so many people to see? I honestly, I've never regretted it. Um, I think we're very lucky with our audience. Um, you know, everyone is so nice. I haven't really, I mean, the, the hate I've gotten is mostly just trolls, like people going out of their way to say something for the sake of being mean, but they're not actual followers or viewers. They're just like YouTube trolls. So the people I've gotten to meet when I'm out and about, the people who talk to me in person and stuff or who message me on Instagram or all of you guys who comment on stuff, like I've never regretted it for a second because everybody is amazing and so nice to us. It's like, 
I, it blows my mind. I feel like we got very lucky with this little bubble of amazing people. What happened to Wine Mom videos? Were they just replaced by Mom in Progress? I get asked a lot about Wine Mom. Um, basically, Mom in Progress. Okay, that didn't help at all. Um, we took a lot of the feedback from that show and kind of created something new because I feel like Wine Mom excluded some people. There are a lot of moms who don't who don't like wine and I think a lot of people could relate to it even if they didn't drink or have kids but we wanted I mean the biggest the biggest feedback was the wine part and the fact that I talked about my kids so much but I never showed them everybody wanted to see my kids and I'm not comfortable like drinking on camera um with my kids so yeah mom in progress became a thing because I was I completely agreed the kids should be in it. I'm always talking about them. So, you know, let's, let's show everybody. And I think it just made it more of a, more of a show. <clears throat> when is the next mom in progress episode? I think it's gonna, we're still shooting the first one right now. So I think it might be a couple weeks before it's edited and live. Um, I think we're aiming for June to do, we're doing a three-episode mini-series. Very, very, very excited. These are good ones, and these are episodes that you guys have been asking for forever, and I'm so excited. Do you see fans often in person? Yes, I do, and I love it when people come up and say hi. It always makes me sad when someone messages me saying they saw me and they were too scared to say anything because... I mean, I understand, but I, I wish, like, I wish I had known and then I would have said something to them. But I love, love, love when people come up and say hi. I'm never bothered. I feel like I'm always creepy because I'm like, do you want a hug? Like, what's your name? Do you want to be friends? I feel like I'm over the top <laughs> nice and it's like, well, okay, calm down, Hannah. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. What is this? What is this money? Does anybody know what that is? <clears throat> what color would you change your hair to if blue didn't work out? I'm actually considering doing a different color. Um, but I was honestly considering like blonde maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, donations. Oh my gosh. Wait, don't you guys don't have to give me donations. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You guys don't have to do that. Really, like, just talking to you guys makes me happy. And I love you guys so much. You guys don't, really don't have to do that. That is really, really sweet. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> what happened to the dog? Which dog? Achoo. You're outside right now. Um, silver hair would be cool. I agree. My favorite day of the week is Saturday because I'm not going to have to go to work the next day, but I haven't been to work that day. It's like just my, the one free day of the week with, um, you know, no thoughts of anything else, but just enjoying time with my family. I love that. <coughs> okay. Let's see. What's your favorite episode of Mom in Progress? It is so hard to pick. I'd say my favorite episode. Oh, look who's back. <laughs> Do you want to come up here? What are you doing? It's Wyatt. Do you want to come up here? What's your favorite episode that we made of our show? You don't know? My favorite was the trip to the Grand Canyon. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Hawaii. Hawaii, when we went to Hawaii. Yeah. I actually vlogged our whole Hawaii trip. We went in March, and I just haven't uploaded it. Because this is all I can do. I'll, like, I can do live, but if I have to edit it, I just never do it. Because I, I don't have the time. Come here and say hi. Let them see your cute face. 
<laughs> Why is that making that sound? Huh? It's, it's my computer fan. Sorry, guys. This computer is like old. Do you say hi? Hi. You're so sweet. Well, can you go to your daddy? He's playing the video game. He's playing the video game. Okay. Don't. No. 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 We're not eating boogers. Okay. <laughs> Eat their own boogers. Here, Matt, take your son. No. He's eating boogers on camera. No. 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 <laughs> You're gonna knock my whole computer setup off. <laughs> I have my computer, guys. <laughs> you gotta let me finish. You gotta let me finish. Oh my gosh, seriously, I have my, um, here, Matt, we do. I'm afraid he's going to knock my computer. <laughs> wait, quiet. I can't. Okay, wait, he can come back. This makes me too sad. Oh, see, so I'm going to start crying. Come here, come here. But can you just sit still, please, right here? Here, I'll tickle your back. Oh man, so I have my computer. <clears throat> on top of a shoe box, on top of another shoe box. Because it was really low and I'm on my bed. Sorry, guys. Jackson's in the other room. He was in here and then he left. Okay, we're going to answer a couple more questions. But can you, can you hold still so you're not shaking my computer? Okay. <clears throat> Somebody says, can we talk about postpartum? I feel like courses prep you for labor, but not for postpartum. And this is so true. And I feel like I should actually make a video about this too, because I, after you have the baby, there's one checkup with your doctor and that's it. There's no postpartum care or plan or anything. And I, <coughs> sorry guys, I still have this cough. I actually had this, um, I didn't realize all that postpartum depression entails and I guess um, I found out way after the fact that I would have this insane paranoia and intrusive thoughts that were completely nope remember you sit down um that were just completely irrational but it would like it was it was crippling like I couldn't but I'm okay not over there there's a lot of stuff over there a lot of cords um and I never sought treatment for it, and I just kind of toughed it out. And I wish I had known at the time that that was a symptom of postpartum depression, and I could have actually gotten a lot of help for it. Do you like sour or spicy stuff? I like both. I, I like sour. You like sour? <laughs> I like really spicy. Um. Uh, Okay, let's see. Where do you live? What city? Los Angeles. I'm going to answer a couple of these. Oh, my gosh. When you do the candy taste test, do your kids get all hopped up on sugar? Yes, and then I hand them over to their dad. I'm just kidding. <coughs> I'm totally joking. Jacob Ames, you don't have to keep donating. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, but I love you anyway. You don't have to donate to me. You are just the sweetest person ever. Okay, favorite Kingdom Hearts character. Um, <laughs> I really love Kingdom Hearts, for those of you who don't know. Uh, Sora, for sure. Um, who else do we like in Kingdom Hearts? I like Ariel. I like Aladdin. I do not like Donald or Goofy, because they. I feel like they don't... They help, but like, they're always fainting. I don't know if it happens when you guys play. Okay, I'm kind of joking. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but uh, Donald's always fainting. What Donald does? 
not Donald Duck. That's as far as I got in these questions. I'll answer a few more from you guys. Um, hi. Let me see if there are any others. Is there any? Uh, um, I will. Oh my gosh. Let's. Um, I'll answer a few of yours before we sign off. Oh my gosh, if you are in a bad headspace, how do you motivate yourself to do work? I mean, I have two amazing motivators, which is this one and his brother. So that kind of keeps me going if I feel like I don't want to do anything. Sometimes if I don't want to do anything, I just don't. I give myself a break. I give myself a free pass because life is tough and I feel like People are expected to work so hard all the time and there's burnout and I completely recognize that. And so sometimes if I just don't want to do it or I'm like having a really hard time, I give myself a break <coughs> or I'll go do something I want to do. What? I know you're making a really fun fort on me. Hey, Wyatt, Jacob says hello. <laughs> Someone watching. Okay, let's see. What is your favorite thing to binge watch on Netflix? I actually watch Hulu a lot more than Netflix because it has Dateline. And Mama, what? I actually watch YouTube. What do you watch on YouTube? m and m and ms You do watch a lot of like building stuff. I like this idea of switching clothes with your family. That is, that's funny. I mean, Matt and I trade clothes a lot. Like, I traded him a pair of my sweats for a pair of his sweats. Because I liked his more. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi. Is that that food? No, 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 no. Okay, just don't, don't mess up the cords, love. Oh, my gosh. Mama, is that the what? Dateline Unsolved True Crime Mystery or Story is your favorite. <coughs> I mean, I feel weird I feel weird saying that any are my favorite because <laughs> because um oh my god. I swear every time I try to go live it turns into a disaster of my kids. I love you guys. Um I feel weird saying I have a favorite one because it's tragic and it's sad and it's somebody's life, you know. But one crime that I go back to all the time to try, like, I want to figure it out. I want to crack this case is uh, John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> oh, boy. What sushi rolls do you like? I like the nigiri, uh, yellowtail, and albacore. And, okay, why? No jumping on your brother. Hey, up, 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 up. Don't say kick your butt. <laughs> um, uh, and I like I like those in rolls too. Stop me. No, guys, you cannot be in here if you're fighting. What's your favorite kind of sushi? Ramen. What's your favorite kind of sushi? Jackson likes blue crab rolls. You guys are being mean to each other. <coughs> Say yes or no or lie for a week. Oh my gosh. That'd be hard to keep I'm track of. Um, I'm making <laughs> Are you doing a mom in progress Mama's soon or now? Yes, I answered that earlier, but we're shooting an episode now. I think the first one is gonna premiere in June. We're doing a three-part mini series. Oh my goodness. Is the house really haunted? Not anymore. At least I hope, not anymore. What? Matt's creeped out still. <laughs> what's your favorite animal lemurs i love lemurs if you guys have seen zabumafu that is a lemur they're amazing okay guys how's your pet doing all three of our pets are great poppy is ridiculous our puppy she's a lot of work but she's doing well she's doing well in training um is Matt camera shy? No, he's not, not camera shy. He's, I don't know. <clears throat> Can you post your mom in progress on June 18th? Um, I don't know. I'll keep you posted. 
Do you like Snickers? It's not my favorite candy. I don't eat much candy. I like Twizzlers and I like Reese's. Would you ever get another pet? No. No. I have so many pets, these two included. If you could go anywhere on vacation, where would you go? Jackson, where would you go on vacation? Uh, to Maui again. The Maui? Hotel. Where would you go? And the same hotel. The hotel, hotel in Ma Maui. In Maui. You'd go to Maui again? Yeah. I would probably go to... Where would I go? Um, Hawaii. I'd probably go to, like, France. No, Hawaii. France. Hawaii. Hawaii. You can go to Hawaii. Actually, well, happy Sarah. early birthday, Mama, Jacob. Actually, happy birthday, Hawaii. Mama. Instead of Hawaii, it's going to be the Mo Philippines. I would love Mo to. England. England. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, guys, we're going to go. We're going to um, finish up making dinner. I've been on for 30 minutes now, and this is going to be a long video for people to get oh, through. Yeah. If I could visit yeah. every country to visit yeah. you guys, I would. Um, if it wasn't so dang expensive. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do, I, somebody asked me in my Instagram about like doing meet and greets and I don't know, I feel like two people would show up, but I would love to do that. I'm just, I don't know how to even start organizing that. Yay. Um, bye. all right guys. So say bye. 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 Love you guys so much. Thank bye. you for watching. Thank you for that. Thank watching. you for watching. See ya. See ya. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> and bye.